Alrighty, and I think we're live. Hey guys, what's going on? Tuvas here again with a another DCS World gameplay stream. In today's video, I don't think you, uh, it's probably easy to tell, but I recently picked up something. Picked up something called the Toby Eye Tracker. Uh, Toby Eye Tracker 5. And I thought I'd uh, give it a nice little test today on uh, Georgia at War. Nice simple mission. I don't know what I'm in for today. I haven't looked at the, uh, oh, in fact, let me turn that on before I forget. The web GCI. So you guys can see what the overall picture is like. Uh, oh, and it looks like it's night. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, hmm. This isn't particularly the best time to test Toby Eye Tracker, but eh, whatever. We'll work with it. We'll just have to do night ups in the aviate or something. But yeah, so, uh, like I said, I recently picked up the Toby Eye Tracker. Uh, and it seems to be pretty cool so far. I've kind of. So, I didn't know this, but apparently you can use both the eye tracking aspect to, well, one, obviously, to see where I'm looking. So, like, right now I'm looking at the HUD. I'm looking at that red light, looking at the other red light, I'm looking up, uh, let's see, I'm looking at the, the eye floss or whatever it's called for the landing glide slope, and that red light, that red light, that white light. So I, I actually don't know how accurate that was because I can't see the bubble on my main screen. I can share it, and I can enable it so I can see it on my main screen, but it kind of gets in the way while I play. But hopefully that gives you an idea of what I'm doing. But if you noticed, if I look to the left, the pilot's head also turns to the left. So if I keep looking more and more left, the pilot keeps turning its head. And if I look to the right, the pilot turns right. So it's kind of like a mini head track where it's using the eyes to do like head movement. But on top of that, you can also turn your head left, right, up, down, you know, as desired. Oh, I need to lower this there we go as desired for actual head tracking so that's kind of interesting how there's like a weird hybrid so i can do head for big movements and then eyes for like little subtle movements it's kind of interesting it's going to take a bit of getting used to but uh i thought it was pretty cool anyways go ahead and get this game going battery Little shaky, I'm finding. Roll your eyes, please. <laughs> okay, hold on. Here, I'll start at the center. So I'm, I'm looking right at the yellow cross. Then if I go like this, <laughs> I don't even know how that looked. Flower. Yeah, I know, right? The way it kind of like generator, blobs all over generator. the place, it's kind of interesting. I've turned down the blobbiness like most of the way down, so it's uh, as solid of a shape as I can get it to be. But, um, you know, there's only so far that can go. Okay, you know what? I need to enable a setting because this is a little weird. Let me see those eyeballs, broski. <laughs> oh man, where is that setting? I think there's a setting where I can have it... Yeah, here we go. Head auto center. Hopefully that makes my head a little more steady as I look around the cockpit. 
That way you can hold a position more easily. Oh yeah, that already feels better. Oh yeah, that already feels way better. Okay. I wonder what the trade-off is, though. Here. That. Caution. Uh-oh, why can't I look that far down? <laughs> Hold on. Come on, there we go. It's like I really have to force it to look down. Hold on, let me recenter. Okay, that's recentered. Okay, there we go. That, I think that was my issue. this tonight. Oh, that looks ugly. Switch that today, but turn down the gain. Or I might have to do the same on this side. Good enough. Alright, DMT's on, FLIR's on, that's turned down, that's it tonight. We'll get the FLIR up in a second, turn on my radios. You mean to need to move your head from side to side because of them? Oh yeah, that's true. I forget I can actually look around these now, unlike before. Because what I would do normally, since I can't really have access to uh, side to side movement like that, I would just imagine that I could see the buttons behind the, the front console. And then it still allows you to push them even though they're behind this. But now I can actually just do that and look at what I'm trying to click. Alright, well anyways. Turn the light off. Might be closed. Oh, no, we probably need... Better fuel. Odd. Let's go with armor piercing. Let's go with... Is there strikes? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to assume there's strikes and pack a couple of Mark 83s. Then I'll do times six UBU 38s. And then times one aim nine. And you know what? Times two aim nine. Request refueling. Request rearming. If you ever see my view zoom like that, I just hit the recenter button for my uh, Toby eye tracker. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping I could see the moon back there. Here. Rearming complete. Okay. Rearm is now complete. Let's go to ground crew. Oop, that is not ground crew. Go to wheel chocks. And remove. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. And make sure this is set. Flaps down, water takeoff, and Caution. break and break off. Caution. Okay, wheel brakes on. Quick sweep. 
think we're good enough. All right. Brakes on. Throttle up. Release. And nozzles. Nozzles up. Nozzles slowly forward. Altitude. 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 Yep, those are up. Flaps altitude, up. Altitude. Nozzles altitude, all the way forward. Altitude. Autopilot on. Altitude. Altitude. Throttle back just a tad. Altitude. Water altitude. off and low altitude. Two zero off. one. Airborne. Two zero one. Radar contact. Altimeter huh. two nine nine. Is that me? My two zero one. Two zero one. I don't know. Who did that. I didn't even contact the control or anything like that. Okay, anyways, uh, let's do one, three, three, even though this is going to be annoying. And we'll do two, five, three. There we go. Nav, master arm. There we go. Pretty sure that's off now. Alright, where are we going? We're currently flying south, we need to go north. Easy peasy. Chevy 51, Overlord 11, Bra 064 for 100 at 4000 knots. Wow, look at that. Look at those clouds, man. Okay, let's see. Other current missions and strike. We have plenty to choose from, but since we have Mark 83s, let's try and hit a power plant. So, zero, seven... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to hit a power plant. So the closest one is zero seven zero for ninety six. Oh, and we've already gone past the zero seven zero, so let's turn to the right. Chevy five one, Overlord one one, bra one zero eight four one hundred sixty at seven thousand knots. And there we go. That should do it. All right, so now that we're en route, let's find waypoint Chevy seven, eight, nine, and Bra, ten. Zero, five, seven, four, yeah, nine, waypoint ten is the one we want. Flanking. That. Chevy five one, seven, Overlord one one, Bra yeah. zero six four four nine eight at sixteen thousand knots. Break. So it's this guy, so 443643. Four, Wait, what? 443643. Four, <laughs> I keep having to look back, and every time I do, my vision goes off for a second. I think I need to increase the, the speed it decides to turn. East, zero. Uh, 392403. Three nine two four oh three. Three nine two four oh three. Okay, cool. Enter. Go, then we'll go to waypoint ten. Oh, it's to the left by go figure six degrees, because that makes sense. We'll designate that as a target area. And we're on our way to the target. Mm 
and slide our J downs. Watch our targeting pod, arm it, laser. All right. Unfortunately, this cloud layer is relatively thick and pretty low in altitude. I think it's like 5,000, 6,000. Doesn't give us a lot of room. And we'll chill right around 19,000 feet. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, Bra 044-460 at 17,000, flanking. Oh, too much. A little? Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out once we're there. So how's everyone doing tonight? If anyone's still sticking around, I hope you guys are having a good time. One thing I've noticed is the thing I don't like using, the reason why I don't like using head trackers is because it feels like I'm not free to like look around, rest my head on my hand like this, or like be free to like just look at the chat because in the game my pilot's head is like veering off to the left and right, looking up and down. So it, it feels like I'm forced to like just look straight dead ahead for the sake of the gameplay, uh, the gameplay because of the head tracking. One thing so much, you did make my life so much easier with tutorials. Nice, man! <laughs> I'm always happy to hear whenever someone uh, is finding a DCS, of all things, a lot easier to play because of my tutorials. So I am super happy that I was able to help you along. One of my biggest things is Caution. trying to Caution. remove the barrier to entry that is what is the perceived barrier of entry which would be to have like a joystick and throttle for example so if you're able to play DCS just fine thanks to my con my control tutorials oh man that makes me super happy and if you have any questions let me know as I do regularly regularly update my layouts. So if you didn't know already, check out my Imager album with all the layouts I've created so far and they're completely up to date with all the latest bindings. So feel free to give those a look if you haven't come up with your own binding set already. Overlord 1-1, one, one. Chevy 5-1, request bogey dope. Chevy 5 one Overlord, 1 miles, 6 2 0 so basically the direction we're going for 50 miles. Though he's somewhere between us and the target. At 35,000, Jesus. So it must be a fighter of some kind. Hopefully we have friendlies already dealing with it. Yes, it looks like it. Chevy 5 one Overlord, 1 one Bra, 0 6 one 4 I'm almost considering raising gamma so that you guys can at least see what I'm doing. Okay, you know what? I'm going to turn down the a little bit because I feel like it's a little too sensitive. Chevy five one over the eye tracking one limits. Up up I'm going to set zero, it to seven, a thirty zero, degree limit. Both in the yaw and pitch axis. But let's see how that goes. I'll still be looking left and right when I turn my eyeballs left and right, but it's a lot. It should be a lot more subtle now. Like it won't go like way past a certain point. Actually, that feels pretty good because it feels like I'm just like naturally glancing down at my cockpit this way. Hmm, not bad. I like it. And this is like the way my pilot is glancing down. This is only my eyeballs moving. I'm not moving my head at all. If I move my head, you'll see this. Um, hold on. Hold on, I think I need to recenter. Give me a second. So this is me moving my head. It's a lot bigger movements. But this 
is a lot more subtle, which is pretty cool. Let's see what this guy's up to. That is navigation lights. That's a big one. That's a light. Looks like he is armed up for seed and he has one ammo left. So hopefully he keeps the enemy busy while I'm on route. Oh, speaking of which, caution, caution. I am now 40 miles away, which means I should be able to see the target area. So I'm going to dive down until I'm below the cloud layer. Believe it or not, I have NVG bound to my controller as well. <laughs> as well as NVG brightness down and up. And if only there was a break in the clouds between here and the target area. Chevy 51 Overlord 11 Bra 123 480 at 7000 hot I hope you're doing one for the Tomcat. I want to shoot Chevy six bandits for 50 miles away. Hey man. Bra 065 Maybe one day. I mean, I've already created a layout for the Tomcat, both the pilot and the Rio, so there's at least that, just no video yet. Chevy 51 Overlord 11 Bra 065 445 Oh, I forgot to turn anti skid off. Or on, I should say. Oh boy, we are super low level. Alright, let's see this. Altitude hold, let's drop our RPMs down to about 80. Zoom in on the target. There it is. So let's hit these guys first. Chevy 51 Overlord 11 Pop up group 129470 at 7000. We'll hit the shulka. Just at its feet. There we go. I'm going to do TOO 1. F5. Hold up. Overlord 1 1. Chevy 5 1. Request bogey dope. Chevy 5 1. Overlord 1 1. 21. Bra, zero, 0 4 8. eight. Uh. Four, 20, one, at okay, well, I'm going to do everything I can to get these targets in first. But only ones I can actually track properly because otherwise it's going to be a waste of a GB or a GB38. Right at the feet. Chevy 51 Overlord 11 Bra 103 4 100 at 11,000. Okay, I think I'm pushing my luck at this point. There's one more target that I need Chevy to. Chevy 51 Overlord Overlord 11. I need Chevy to get out of here. One. Request bogey dope. Chevy right, let's go for this guy. One. Oh, we already got that guy. Oh, 50 miles? Hopefully the F5 just hopefully he didn't just disappear from our AWACS and that's why you can't see him. And we'll hit this guy next. Get the feet. There we go. Oh enter. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and pull up. Get some speed back. Caution. Caution. Chevy 51, Overlord 11, Bra 136, 450, at 22,000, flanking.
do that auto. Okay, should be good. Go and select the thirty-eights. Do one, two, three, and four. There we go. We're all set. Okay, did you post the layout online? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you look at any of my more recent tutorials, there should be a link to the Imager album in the descriptions. Uh, in particular, it'll definitely be in my controller setup on Input Mapper and DS4 Windows uh, tutorials. And yeah, it's just going to be an Imager album link in the description. All my uh, layouts are there. Be mindful that the F5 may just have spiked you to know where we Oh, fair enough. Keep an eye on my RWR signatures and I hope it's not too much of an issue. In fact, let me uh, turn back towards our friendlies before I turn back in and drop these GB38s. Friendlies should be roughly in this direction, at least based on my map. Continue in a slow climb with a left hand turn, and eventually we'll be facing our target again. Chevy 5 1, Overlord 1 1, Bra. Yeah, no problem. What does the area look like? Oh, we have plenty of friendlies in the area. I mean, you know, as long as they don't kill me. Like, for example, this guy, he is looking pretty sus. Turning his nose hot on me. F fourteen. Overlord. One one. Bra. One two four. I swear to at sixteen thousand You have gotta be kidding me, really? And of course, there is an M9 being fired at me by a friend Lee. Caution, caution. Limiter off, limiter off. Caution, caution. Limiter off, limiter off. Caution, caution. Limiter off, limiter off. Caution, caution. Nice Limiter work, off. Stugatz. Limiter you shot off. me. Pull up, pull up. Chevy 5 Ah. All that planning, all that preparation. Just to get exactly what I was calling. Oh my god. <gasps> You've got to be kidding me, dude. I'm going to let him get kicked. In fact, we're going to watch this guy get kicked. Yeah, talking to you, buddy. Stu Gats. You know how long it took me to fly from the Tarawa all the way to the target area? And then I freaked out about an F5 while I was trying to pick out multiple targets. And then I turned towards friendlies thinking I'd be safe, then you frickin' fire an M7 at me, even though you have Jester in the Rio seat, to tell you that I'm a friendly multiple times. Uh. Good. Uh. Okay, <laughs> let's do this again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're gonna have a little bit of fun this time then. I don't feel. Whoa! I am parked all the way at the front. 
Um, let me return to spectators, because I should not be here. There we go. Freaking called it, man. I, at first I thought it was going to be the Hornet, because he was turning on me. Then, the Tomcat. With the AI Rio. Yelling at you. You locked a friendly. Anyways. So, uh, let's go ahead and rearm. We're going to make this a little bit more fun this time. I am going to pack... No target... Well, actually, yeah, I should probably pack a targeting pod considering it's nighttime. EP rounds. This time, we are going to go with times two. Mark 83 is like last time. This will be for those buildings. And then times two rockets. Specifically, Zunis. Because we haven't used these in a long time. And of course, aim nines. Request rearming. Ah, oh boy. Copy. Freaking called it. I don't believe that. I was hoping I'd be wrong, but, um, you know. It is what it is. Complete. Oh my god, please. Never mind, I'll wait for the video. I got confused so fast with it. <laughs> it's honestly not that bad. If you've already set up bindings for one, uh, for like the SC25T, it's really not that different. Although I did move around the modifier buttons so they're no longer on start and select. They're on, um, what's it called? You know, I really need to figure out what is going on with. Oh, you know what? I think I know what's going on. I need to reorient this thing. Let's see, I need to do. Nope, not that. So that's all the way forward now. I need to now recalibrate. With calibration. So right now I'm doing a calibrate, so I'm looking at three dots in the corners and center bottom or top, depending on the part I'm in. Okay. The calibration should be good now. So I'm having a difficult time looking down at my cockpit. And I'm trying to see it. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. Okay, cool. So now let's... Recenter, run on our systems. Oh, right, I can turn to the right. There we go, or lean to the right. Hey, 
That should be good enough, I think. Recenter. I should really think about binding recenter to my controller somehow. Well, shuts clear on HUD it is not available yet. Okay, looks like we're all loaded out, so let's go ahead and contact ground crew and wheel chocks off. Flaps down, water on, parking brake off. Taxi to the center line? I mean, it's not exactly a runway. Brakes on. All right, quick sweep. Um, oxygen is on, lights are on, flaps are down, water is takeoff, master arm off, V stole. Freeze, yeah, 10 degrees. Okay, cool, good enough. All right, let's get out of here. Are on. Brakes. Eight nozzles, gear up, slowly forward, autopilot on, go, flaps up, RPMs low, and water off, and the sky off. Also, I need to turn up my volume. God, please. There we go. Have uh, let's turn to left and go heading zero seven zero. Oh, sorry, no, uh, zero six two. I swear, if I die again, I think that'll be it for tonight. <laughs> Should be good enough. We got a flanker at our 11 o'clock. Not a good sign. Looks like this guy is having a little bit of fun out by the carriers. Hmm. Well. Worst case uh, comes, I will just die, and that'll be it for tonight. <laughs> uh, come on, Fleer. Why aren't you working? Okay, I think the Fleer's working. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That. Oop. Yeah, there we go. What is that? That is a 29 radar. And you know what, while we're on our way out to the target area, let's grab that strike mission again. I think it was Yar, mistaken, yeah, 067, roughly heading that direction, 443643, data, north, 
four, four, three, six, four, three. Yep. Enter east. Zero. Um, three, nine, two, four, three. Three, nine, two, four, three. Okay, perfect. Enter. There we go. Let's go to waypoint 10. And then designate. That flanker, I imagine, is probably pretty close. No. Why aren't our friendlies near our AWACS? Stugats! What are you doing back here? Oh, I swear to God, if you kill me again. Dude, you are literally right next to our AWACS. Okay, good. He fired a Phoenix, an A, at something. So he is, in fact, defending someone. Or attacking someone, I should say. Not necessarily defending. We lose our AWACS though, okay fine. I'm gonna turn in that direction and see if I can help. Then if it turns out everything is good, I will head back towards the target. But for now I need to fly towards this 29 radar source. Even though it's nighttime. I won't be able to see anything anyways. I think there might be one right here. And then I guess there's another one over here, maybe? Wait, what am I doing? I don't even have to use my mouse to show you guys where I'm looking. I can just, like, look at it. So I think there's something over here, and there could be something over here. And I guess if I follow the trajectory of those guys, there's probably some over there. There's probably something like right there or something. It's just gonna silence the whole thing. Dang it. Okay, I can't use that anymore. Okay, so hotkeys. Uh, go for two to run one. Roger, zero nine seven for five. He said. Uh, repeat altitude. Oh, Captain. never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, there they are. Damn, I should have been flaring already. God damn it. That's why you get for trying to manage my OBS while I play. God damn. <laughs> ah, I am a flaming wreck over there. Oh, Jesus. Am I alive? No, I'm not alive. Ah, boy. Well, anyways, guys. Like I said, that was going to be my last sortie out if I end up dying. So, sorry, it was a short stream, but, you know, 
it is what it is. What it is. This is just to do a quick test of the Toby Eye Tracker and show you guys what it's like. Unfortunately, it is really dark. Let me see if I can bump this up to max. There you go. Now you guys should be able to see things a little bit more clearly. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it a, a night because it is also late. So for anyone who joined along, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this content, as short as it was, I hope you guys wouldn't mind sticking around for my next stream, whenever that might be. And tune in next time for some more DCS World gameplay. Now, where is this goddamn F-14? Did he die? I bet he died. I hope he died. Where is he? 18. Magpie. That name sounds familiar. I mean, I know it's a bird. Wait, is that a bird? I feel like that's a bird. But there's one person in particular I know go that goes by Magpie. I am unsure if it's the same person. Stugats. There you are. You. <laughs> oh. Well, it's all right. Maybe he's just a noob. Maybe he's just barely learned how to play DCS. Like, maybe he's even someone like me who only has a gamepad, who has just learned how to set up the F-14 on the gamepad and is now going through the throes of noobism and learning how to use the IFF, even though he totally has gesture to do that for. Anyways, all right, I'm going to stop being salty. All right, thanks, thank you guys for watching once again. Tune in next time for some more Adisa's World live gameplay. <laughs>